We'll begin with opening comments from Coach Holgerson. <clears throat> well, <laughs> long game, uh, good outcome. So proud of these guys, proud of the seniors, <clears throat> proud of our team. You know, uh, they're, you know, we were the underdog. We were the visiting team, foreign state, uh, <clears throat> you know, four hours away from home and playing against a team that's from here on their turf. Good football team, very competitive. Uh, they wanted to win, and um, we found a way to win. So really proud of the guys. <clears throat> we'll open it up for questions. Please raise your hand so we can get a mic to you. Second row here on the left. Uh, yeah, Dana and Skyler, obviously you guys were going to attack them through the air. Can you just talk about your thought process on that and <coughs> how much of a, their scheme you played in? <coughs> yeah, we we uh, we knew they were good up front. They, they, I think they blitzed 100% of the time. Yeah. And, and and we knew they would. They were gonna you know try to fill gaps and take away our run game. <clears throat> We've worked hard on the passing game. We made a couple adjustments. Uh, <clears throat> really really proud of Skyler. Uh, I did a lot of yelling if you can't tell, uh, but that that wasn't directed at him. Is directed at our receivers. Uh, you know we had a lot of guys open and he made he made throw after throw after throw. <clears throat> Those young receivers started making things happen, uh, you know, in the second, uh, towards the end of the second quarter, and in the second half. And I think they're only going to get better for them. Uh, so, uh, really proud of Skyler, the way he hung in there. You, know, you knew he was going to be a lot of heat. He had to sit in there and make the throws, and he did. Proud of him. Yeah, just to add on that, we knew, you know, it was going to be high risk, high reward, and, and if we could hold up up front, that we would have some shots downfield. And uh, I was just giving those guys a shot, uh, and they came down with it. <clears throat> Staying here in the second row on the left. Skyler, is that a fun game to be a part of as a quarterback where you get to throw the ball over the yard? No doubt. Yards? It's the kind, kind you dream about, no doubt. Except for all those hits when they blitz 100% of the time. That, that, that gets pretty nerve-wracking back there. And I, I tell you, I give him credit for, for hanging in there. That's tough. You know, when you get hit and, and you know they're going to bring six, seven guys, <clears throat> I mean, you know, the, the, this guy over here, Shaq, he got to their quarterback a couple of times and made a difference, you know. So, him, you know, Skyler being able to hang in there, I was really proud of him. <clears throat> Next question, staying on the left. Shaq, we talked about your motivations going into this game uh, last week. Uh, when you guys get that stop there at the end, that incomplete pass, and you know it's pretty much over, what's going through your head? Um, just everything we've been through, it was worth it, you know. Um, this team, this group of seniors, we've been through a lot, and, and uh, we're fighters, you know. When we're, when we're down, we're going to keep fighting. Next question, we're going to go uh, to the third row here on the left. What did you guys do to take number 15 out of the receiving game on ASU in the second half? Well, who's 15? Devin yeah, yeah, he's a good player. You know, we just switched up the coverage. <clears throat> um, you know, that's, that's about it. We'll go to the very back on the left. Uh, Dana, just uh, thoughts on this game propelling you guys into the 2016 season, although it uh, starts here in 2016 yeah. uh, with this victory. Well, we don't we don't consider this 2016. I mean, this is the <clears throat> the end of the 2015 season, and you know we had high expectations coming into this year and started out pretty good. Uh, you know, caught four really good Big 12 football teams you know, and, and on four bad days for us and didn't quit. You know, and, and, and Shaq was one of the seniors that was in a meeting that we set in there, and we wanted to finish this one better than any Big 12, uh, West, West Virginia University Big 12 team had, had finished, and we did. So, I mean, that, that's a positive thing. It's something we can build on. Uh, we're going to enjoy this one for a while, you know, and then we'll get back to work here in a couple of weeks in, in, in January and start the, the beginning of the 2016. So anytime you can finish with a, with a bull win, it, 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 gains, it gives you some momentum moving forward, there's no doubt. <laughs> Go all the way in the back on the risers to the right. Shaq, you and Jared exchanged embraces and had the tears flowing for both of you guys. Fifth year guys, can you just... Tell us a little bit about what that felt like. Um, me and Jerry, we've been through a lot, you know, both with the ACL injuries. So um, just fighting back and just to go out like this is just no better feeling, you know. <clears throat> we talked before the game and we were emotional all week, you know, just knowing this was our last game together, but it's, it's not going to be the last time we, uh, you know, we're friends. So after the game, when we finally, the way we finished the game, it was, it was uh, unbelievable. 
I think it goes more than just him and Jared, though. You know, I mean, there's there's Quit, uh, there's KJ Dillon, there's Kyle Rose. I mean, <clears throat> you know, Ricky Rump played played his tail off. You know, that, that this senior group's special. I've I've said it a bunch, but uh, this senior group's special because this is the group that came in when I came in five years ago and went through coaching changes and conference changes. That that's a big deal. And those guys, you know, had some bad days, and, and football's hard. You know, Power 5, Big 12 football is tough. It's no different than the Pac-12 and what we faced out there today. And these guys uh, hung in there, and I'm really proud of them. And they're, they're, they've put our program in a better place than when we started. Next question here, th uh, back on the left. Skyler, were you trying to attack number 10 on ASU's defense, or was his guy just open a few times? Uh, you know, we, we saw the, the, the matchup we had out there, and, and then also, obviously we, we wanted to take advantage of that and, and take some shots over there on his side. Um, but it just goes to those guys getting open, um, you know, <laughs> on both sides. You know, uh, we watched a lot of film. We've had over, you know, a month to prepare for this, and we knew what we were going to get with that. And so uh, we just took advantage of it. Staying on the left. Shaq, uh, Shaq, I know um, you know your defense has been beaten up a lot this year, starting with Carl, and then a bunch of other guys have gone down. Um, you know when uh, you lose Sharif and a couple other guys in that secondary, and you know Ricky <coughs> Rump's playing safety. You have a couple guys outside that are in positions that they're not really accustomed to. Do you look around and say, you know, we don't even get any relief in this last game here? You know, we got to make it. It's more of the same kind of. Uh, no, not not that type of feeling. You know, we've been through a lot. You know, after losing. Carl Joseph which is our ultimate leader of this team for the last five years, you know. We, I think we can, uh, it's the next man up, no matter in any situation. Any other questions? Let's go way in the back here on the left on the risers. <clears throat> Coach, um, how much more fulfilling or gratifying is this win knowing that you've gone through so many losses in bowl games and disappointments throughout the year in between the <clears throat> Orange Bowl? Yeah, it, there, it it'd been mentioned, uh, <clears throat> you know that uh, you know Shaq's one of the guys that played in the Orange Bowl. We got two of them, Shaq and Jared. They played in the Orange Bowl five years ago. So you know, <clears throat> for their career, we're sitting here at two and two. We wanted to even it out, but more importantly than that, uh, these guys wanted to win a bowl game in the Big Twelve as a part of the Big Twelve. And you know, there a lot of we watched the TV this afternoon when Kansas State lost. There was a lot of. Uh, commentary about Big 12 not doing very well in the bowl game. You know, TCU came back and won. Down 31 points, came back and won against the Pac-12 team. And uh, then, then we go out there and we win against the Pac-12 team as, as well. So <clears throat> wanted to represent the Big 12, we did, and uh, wanted to get our first win in the Big 12, which we did. We'll stay here second row on the left. Yeah, guys again, Dana and Skyler, you guys set records for touchdown passes, passing yards, all sorts of things. I mean, did you feel that as the game progressed, could you tell things were going like that? And uh, <laughs> about time we did something on offense. Yeah, right? it's, <laughs> it's about time. It's, it, it, like you said, it's about time it fell together. Um, you know, we worked. You know, our goal this throughout this season was to get better each week on offense and just keep improving each week. And uh, you know, it finally started clicking. We had, I think we had a complete game on offense. You know, besides uh, you know some misfits at, at receiver, but. Uh, we got that squared away. And did you get, were you a little frustrated at all the first quarter with three field goals? Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> yeah. Slightly. <laughs> yeah. You overcame that. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean it, you know, I think a lot of it comes back to just ha having, having skill guys that are confident and will, will, will make that, that, that extra play. <clears throat> you know, I, I, was, I was yelling at him pretty good. I, I, I reminded him where the end zone was. And um, told them to score. <laughs> uh, so, so they started scoring. I should have said it before the game, but that, that's just an experience at receiver more than anything, you know. And, and we're, we 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 got better in the pass game. A lot of the guys from Morgantown. I mean, they they know my frustrations with the passing game. And uh, our run. I'm very proud of our run game right now. Uh, it, we didn't run the ball very good today. We knew we wouldn't be able to. So the emphasis was on the pass game. And we finally did something in the pass game to be able to warn a win. Right here on the front row on the right. Dano, at that moment when you kind of dove onto the ground, we knew you weren't about to get up, but what was in your mind? What was going through your mind whenever you hit the ground? I don't remember. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't remember. I guess frustration. <clears throat> Any other questions? <laughs> Third row on the left. 
Skyler, do you need this, man? I know you take things really hard when you lose because you care a lot and, uh, you know, you're you're more into this than anybody and you said it's about time. I mean, how much did, did you need a game like this kind of you know, at the end especially? Uh, not that I needed it, but these uh, seniors needed it. They needed it to go out on a, on a positive note because um, they earned it. Um, you know, they were the heart and soul of this team, and, and, and they drove us this season um, from Carl Joseph <coughs> down. Um, and he didn't stop after, you know, after the injury. He didn't even stop. So uh, to pull that out for them, um, I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about them, and, and I'm glad we got that done. Very back on the risers. Dana, for all the passing yards, it was the big window. Uh, Smallwood run on the third down play. Talk about the run and then just the call to, to, to make that call on third and I think it was 17. <clears throat> well, it was third and 20, and uh, we finally got them playing off, you know, and, and it was the right call, <clears throat> you know, and then he, he made a great cut. You know, Wendell's a great player, and, and you know, he's going to make that play when we got the numbers to, to, to make that play. I mean, you're not going to win a championship if you uh, get, get a team to be able to take one away. And, and, and you can't execute the other one. So <clears throat> it was a good play. He made the check like he normally does. You know, and I want to go back to what you said, Joey. You know, Skyler didn't need this. Skyler earned this. And uh, you talk about a humble kid that um, has taken some criticism. Uh, it's not fair. I mean, the kid battles. It's what it means to be a Mountaineer, to go out there and to play his tail off and work hard and not listen and go back to work and earn the respect of your teammates and continue to fight and continue to work. And, and uh, that's what he's done. And, and things are coming together because, you know, he's, he's getting better and the people around him are getting better. We got everybody coming back on offense. We should be even better next year. <clears throat> but that's a humble answer, and that's because of him. That's who he is.